So while changes in social structures and in policies are surely necessary to counteract our social, economic, and political problems, what I would say is that from the Buddhist point of view, they aren't enough. I would say that what is needed above all else is a new orientation, what I would call a kind of universal consciousness that will enable us to regard others as being essentially the same as oneself. We have to learn to reject the demands of self-interest and acquire this universal perspective from which the welfare of all appears to be just as important as our own good. That is, we have to outgrow the narrow, egocentric, and ethnocentric attitudes to which we are normally committed and instead embrace a world-centric ethic that gives priority to the well-being of all. Such a world-centric ethic should be molded upon three guidelines. First, we have to overcome exploitative greed with global generosity, helpfulness, and cooperation. Second, to replace hatred, suspicion, and vengeance with a policy of kindness, tolerance, and forgiveness. And third, we have to recognize that the world is an interconnected whole such that irresponsible behavior anywhere has potentially harmful consequences everywhere. These guidelines can constitute the nucleus of a global ethic to which all of the world's great spiritual traditions could easily subscribe without requiring any kind of exclusive adherence to Buddhism. The chief values that underlie this ethic are what in Buddhism we call loving kindness and compassion, values affirmed by all the great spiritual traditions. Through loving kindness, we recognize that all other people in this world want to live happily and peacefully, just like ourselves. And through compassion, we feel the suffering of others as our own and work to alleviate their suffering. Okay, this call for a world-centric ethic doesn't spring from mere capricious moral idealism or from wishful thinking, but it rests upon a solid, pragmatic foundation. In the long run, to blindly pursue our narrow self-interest is to undermine, to harm, our real long-term interest. And so by acting out of blind, deluded self-interest, we contribute to social disintegration, social chaos, to ecological devastation. It's just as if we are sitting on the branch of a tree on the side close to the trunk, sawing away the branch that lies I'm sorry, sitting out on the branch away from the tree, from, away from the trunk, sawing away at the branch. As we get further and further down the branch, eventually we reach the point where, yes, we do get the wood that we need to build our table or chair, but we come crashing down along with it, maybe to our death or to deadly pain and suffering. <laughs> 